bilateral hydrosalpingitis. In this video today, we are going to talk about hydrosalpingitis. What is hydrosalpingitis? What is bilateral hydrosalpingitis? Mu video ya feno lero tugenda kogera ku ekimu ku bibuzo ebibuzidwa emirundi eminji enyo ku chano ya feno era tugenda kogera ku kigambo chebaita hydrosalpingitis. We are going to discuss everything about hydrosalpingitis. Welcome to our channel and we are talking about all this after this short break. Thank you, my friend, for sticking around. We are discussing a condition known as bilateral hydrosalpingitis. The name of the channel is Gerard Massa, the health educator. Welcome to our channel. And on this channel, we do talk about fertility and we do give health tips in regards to how you can get pregnant faster. Kuchano ya feno, togera kubi nitu ebi kuataga nane, butia wosobolo kubanga ufuno ulubuto amangu, era chano ya feno, Gerard Massa, the health educator, nunji nyo, wabwa inevuzo vya nabiyo na ebi kuataga na nebiyo kufuno ulubuto, ogeze zako, mbugeze zako, okubanga mufuno ulubuto, gwene bao, neenga bichaganye, chano ya feno, togera kubi nitu nabiyo na. Bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Bilateral means Two. When we talk about by, it means two. Specifically, salpingitis or salpix, it means the tubes. So we are looking at the two, uh, at the two tubes. Specifically, we are looking at your fallopian tubes. Hydro means water or free fluid. So when we are talking about bilateral hydrosalpingitis, specifically, we are talking about water or free fluid in your tubes. If you are a woman and you have been told that you have free fluid in your tubes, then we call that hydrosalpingitis. But don't you worry, we are going to discuss everything about hydrosalpingitis in today's video. And remember, you can ask me all your questions down below in the comments. To Gambianti, bilateral hydrosalpingitis by Chitegeza Ebintu Ebibidi. And then hydrosalpingitis chitegeza amazi agali monseke. So, buliro banga okoze report ya ultrasound scan. Dr. Una kugamba nti olina chebaita hydrosalpingitis oba bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Chiba chitegeza nti olina amazi monseke. To ina kweda likirira kuchano ya feno. Tupa tugenda kugera kubino biyona biyona. So, how can you identify that you could be having bilateral hydrosalpingitis or that you could be having hydrosalpingitis. What are the key signs of hydrosalpingitis? The first sign of hydrosalpingitis is that you are going to feel pain. You are going to feel, of course, this is a condition for women specifically. Hydrosalpingitis is a condition for women. Men do not get hydrosalpingitis. So for you men watching this video, we are also going to discuss one of some of the conditions which affect you in our videos to come later on. But in this video today, we are talking about bilateral hydrosalpingitis. So the first sign of hydrosalpingitis is that you will feel abdominal pain or lower abdominal pain. More specifically, if your tube, only a single part of your tube, or if only one part of your tube is the one experiencing this condition, or having this uh, condition, then it will be only on that side. It could be right-sided or left-sided. So you'll feel severe abdominal pain. And specifically, this is among the first key signs that you could be having what we call hydrosalpingitis. Sign of a soaker, a sobolo kutula ganti, oba a sobolo kula gango mchala anti wandivanga olina condition yenu jabaita hydrosalpingitis, ya yoku wanti ojakulida ovulumi, Ate obulumi buno bugenda kubanga buli wansi uh, awa owolu butolo chetu ita lower abdominal pain. Uh, specifically pain yenu eba mpitirivu nyonyo oba eba yama nyinyo nti ate osobala no kula wanga ekola chebaita radiation oba, oba e genda paka kumugongo. Ojuhuli reno wansinga monseke ate ebe sobolo kubanga e genda paka kumugongo. So 
Obanga oli mchala, e, ulikulawa video yenu na yenga te obadoli nobu rumi obo. Obu unje enyonga vuli wanse no. Ndeni chandibanga probably oinzo kubango li na chine chirwade. Chetu ita bilateral hydrocypengitis. Na yete chiso wala confirming wa paka ngokoze okwekebeja. So we have said that specifically you should not go ahead and self-diagnose yourself that you are having hydrosalpingitis. You should not go ahead and put it on yourself that you are having hydrosalpingitis without going to hospital. The most important thing we need to note or the second sign of hydrosalpingitis is that when you are trying to do any activity like maybe your daily home cures like maybe cooking or cleaning or doing like any activities at home you will actually experience this pain increasing. So it goes back to our first sign that the cardinal sign of hydrosalpingitis is pain. Of course, other women experience discharge. They do also experience painful sexual intercourse. When you are having sex with your partner, it could also uh, be so painful. And then this pain specifically, it tends to be pulsatile in nature. So, to gambi enti, evida labi osobu lo kulabida konti, wandibango lina chetu ita bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Chechoku banti, ogulumi vuno buwe yongera nyonga te oline bao, mulimu chikole choku igata, ovanida. Ovanga oline eminimo joko la ewaka Oja kula banti pei nieno Eja kwe yongela So if you are a woman out there And you are having lower abdominal pain Please, please You should not really uh, Stress yourself You should know that if you go to hospital Any hospital or health center Nearby, uh, near you You can still be assessed by your doctor Who will request some tests to be done Tugambi ya ntibuliroba ngo uli ovolumi vuno, ngate olimu chala, uli ovolumi vuno, nga vonji nyo, omize painkillers, uh, bichaga nyo kubanga biku yamba. Tuwa ina kutula waka, o ino kumekinga shuwa nto, genda mudua lido, omusawo na kwekebeja, wana wana uvoli, monsi, wazoso vulo kulaba doktor kuli okumpi na kwekebeja. What are the signs? Oh, we've talked about the signs, sorry about this, sorry about that. So, what tests or how can you confirm that you could be having bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Oso volotia okumanya nti wandibango lina bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Oba oso volotia okumanya nti wandibango lina amazi monseke. The first key test or the first key investigation which will be requested by your doctor is what we call the pelvic ultrasound scan. The pelvic ultrasound scan is an investigation whereby your doctor will use a small small machine it's actually known as an ultrasound scan but there's something called a probe your doctor will put that probe apply some jelly on your abdomen and then use that small probe that probe is going to transmit images of your reproductive system onto the screen and then these images will be interpreted by your doctor or sonographer and then a report of the findings will be done or will be made. The only key thing we need to take from this is that the way, the best way to diagnose or to confirm that you have bilateral hydrosalpingitis among the many tests which will be ordered by your doctor is what we call the pelvic ultrasound scan. And so there are other tests, but a pelvic ultrasound scan is normally the most available and it's normally the most affordable investigation you can do. You can do a pelvic ultrasound scan from any clinic near you as long as they have the services. So there are other tests which can be done to confirm that you could be having bilateral hydrosalpingitis. These are what we call the HSG test or the HSG scan. HSGH stands for hysterosalpingogram. HSGH stands for hystero. S stands for salpingo or fallopian tubes. And then gram. Gram basically is a, a picture. I mean, uh, it's a picture, gram graphy. So specifically, HSG is another test which will be done by your doctor. It's also among the best tests for identifying or diagnosing that you have or you could be having bilateral hydrosalpingitis. The only limiting factor is that it is quite expensive depending on the country you are in. For example, in our country here in Uganda, it's among the tests which can be done but they are on the upper hand when we are looking at the prices or the costs. So normally, pelvic 
or pelvic scans are very av available and they are very accessible. The only thing we need to take from this is that uh, for the tubes to be seen on a pelvic ultrasound scan, normally they should they, normally they will be distended, they will be filled up with free fluid, or they will be having masses. So. If your tubes are not having anything, normally it is quite difficult for your doctor to see them on an ultrasound scan. And that's why we normally recommend that you can do what we call a CT scan. So thank you, my friend. We are proceeding with our lesson on bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Tuchaya yongerayo no musoma gwafe ku condition eno jetuita bilateral hydrosalpingitis. Tugambia nti ezimu ku test zosobola okola oba doctor wazo azo kujaza jo kusaba ye pelvic ultrasound scan among the tests your doctor will recommend are the pelvic ultrasound scan and then the hsg scan also known as the hysterosalpingogram which will give actually a more clearer picture of what is happening although pelvic ultrasound scans are also very good and then the other tests which will be done after you your doctor has requested the pelvic ultrasound scan is a look at your urine will be done or a urine analysis test will be done whereby more results or more details about your urine appearance including presence of epithelial cells will be given so test endala doctor o jaji okubanga asaba ye yokubanti okwekebeja ku musulogo tulabe guli gutya we gubanga guli mu buzibu guli mu amasira guli mu omusayi then awo doctor waba agenda kuba akuteka ku treatment chano ya feno Gerard Massa the health educator togera ku nsonga eze chichala oba neza abami musobola mutya okubanga mufuna mango olubuto atenga temukoseza dagala eri amanya nyo na atenga mufunye advice and tofu Remember, you can ask me all your questions down below in the comments. Ask me all your questions. I will be able to answer all your questions. Ask me anything related to fertility, anything related to how you can get pregnant faster. You can also connect with me on my WhatsApp where we shall have a more a more one-on-one -on -one conversation or consultation. Connect with me on my WhatsApp and we shall be able to talk more about fertility, about pregnancy. Osobolo kubanga, okwata gana nange, wabango bade, olinaye chivuzo cho, chewandi agado kubuza in privacy, okubuza anga kwe gamba, tikubuza anga matumanji bala wawa no comments, osobolo kubango connecting nange ku WhatsApp yange, edi wansi wano, enambe edi 0701-797876, Tusobolo kubanga togela evi singa kao. Atene echi lala singo voya gade okubanga ojea kudwa liroli yange, ojea kiliniki yange, tuberenga togela evi singa kao. Edo sobolo kumu kubira kweye namba yenyini, netubanga ate nkula gilida kiliniki ya feweri, noja, netubanga tutula wansi, netongela okubanga tuwa ya muko, no sobolo okubango manya, vutiavo sobolo okubango sobolo kufuna olubuto amangu. Kliniki ya feba jita God's Grace Nursing Clinic esangiwa saidi eno eze gayaza uh, sobulo kubanga mkubila konde ni nekula girida nisanyu sonyo mkono guange okubanga ovadolero mu video ya feno togede kubintu binji nenga choino kutuwa ala chirinti bilateral hydrosalpingitis oba amazi agali moseke ga sobulo kujanjawiwa singa obanga okoze tests ni chizuli wanto galina remember to always do the tests because you could go ahead and say that you have hydrosalpingitis just because you are experiencing low abdominal pain and yet it could not be true it could be something else it could be maybe you have a cyst or a swelling in your tubes or you could be having a pregnancy in the tubes also known as an ectopic pregnancy so always make sure that you have yourself get checked up you can connect with me on my whatsapp you can also pay me a visit at my clinic. It is right here in Uganda. You can give me a call on my number 0701-797876 and we shall direct you whereby you'll come and then we shall sit and then have a more detailed talk about fertility, about how you can get pregnant faster. Remember to come back tomorrow for our next video and we shall continue with our series on fertility and how you can get pregnant faster. If you have tried all the methods, then this channel is for you. You are going to learn how this can be achieved. Remember, knowledge is power. Sanyu sanyu mkwano wange, era weba de kubanga obade ku video ya fe, le roto gede ku bilateral hydrosalpingitis, e nchia tuja kugela kuchinte chilala, chano ya fe no, mkuwero kaminga ko, bedanga o subscribinga, nige pesa, edia subscription, o nyigena kadako, o bedanga tomisi,